war on us. You need to ex be able to explain yourself, don't you? What's been going on? I'll explain to people what's going on. <laughs> okay. Do you own the property here, Christopher? <laughs> I don't answer questions. Because I'm ready to testify for my shit and people aren't listening. And they're telling me to stop speaking. And you wonder why, I, like I just explained to these two people over the past half hour or so. What do you think that does to someone? Where does it go? It goes inside. And when you haven't got help with autism and you got abused by the system and they never diagnosed you and it took 30 years for them to realise. Whoa, 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 I'm not I'm like, whoa, I'm in shock still. And I have to keep going and I have to keep handling this and I have to keep telling my story. So when people tell me, oh, you're not ready, and I say, I'm ready, I can see what I need to say, I'm ready. And they keep fucking blocking me off. There's only so much you can block it out until you go fucking crazy. Okay. You see? And like I just said to these people, I'm not gonna hurt nobody. Okay. It's not, no, no, it's not gonna happen, because I could go and confront people right now, and that's why I said I'd call the police up before I get there. I say, I'm gonna arrive at this property, and you're gonna be there, and I'm gonna confront the, the, the abuser. That would be the next thing I do, because I can't... If people aren't going to listen to me, then I'll have to f confront them. Okay. And we'll deal with it that way. You know, because I don't know what else to do. Okay. I can't keep distraught. I said to the lady that I've exhausted myself this time to where I couldn't breathe properly. I already have trouble breathing. Yeah. I'm not COVID or nothing. No, my jaw... In this place, I was murdered. Crept to... Pushed in to the yeah. ground and... Who did that to okay, you? Okay, check this. They said that they couldn't hear nothing. Okay. I think you would have fucking heard something, right? There was no music on, it was overnight. They would have fucking heard something. Yeah. Okay. So they're committing perjury. I've said this. So the, 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 it's ready. When we're ready, we can do it. But now this, I said that me, me being put here has now become a whole period as well. I have CPSD. I was born. Yeah. I was born into it. That's... And then we left. And then they came and did it. And they didn't help. So we had to carry on. Okay. And then we went to school and I was skinnier than this and not well. Yeah. And that's why this is it's not been like this just now. It's been like this forever. Okay. And then Have I get, you got any family that are nearby? You've got your mum? I said I'm scared for that too and it's tricky because it's step family and stuff, right. but and then when I got to the mental health <laughs> In 2010, and I said about what I've been through, they took 10 years till this year or the next year to get me to the rape crisis centre. They interrogated me, they mocked me, they put me here. They, I said, this is kidnapping. Yeah, it goes to Adam Dunstan as well that got prosecuted nearly just a little bit for sending okay. pictures. He's been pimping, trafficking drugs and raping and killing probably for the past 15 years. I will testify. He's, this is to do with this. It didn't start in 2010. It started in 2006 when he was at the Key and his girlfriend came down and she said, don't, don't do it to him. He wanted to pimp me. Yeah. She said, don't. That's all I read from it in the body language, like, don't do it. He was like, fuck it, I'm doing it. Okay. You see? And then I'm in the drug at that point, and then I'm just getting it from him, and then, and the family detachment, and all this. I'm hard to speak, because I don't know the words to say. Mm. Uh, and like, okay, when I was raped, uh, boundaries, I apologise, but... Well, I wouldn't understand what happened, because all I remember is just, like, a thousand cuts. <laughs> and, like sweating all over and just like can't move but that's what I could interpret it as as a child and then like when I have an older time okay. so 2010 that or 9 or 10 it happened and then I got to the people at 2010 and they just it took them 7 years to say oh we was that here in Dorset this right? all happened in Dorset yeah, yeah. Um, and when I was younger, I used to get frustrated. Well, I didn't. I didn't understand it. Now I'm understanding it. Like I can't. I, uh, it's like it's, it's all going a bit much. It's like it? shame, shame and humiliation. But it's like I can't because I'm not at fault. And I don't. I get that. Like people kind of like we get it, Chris. You know, but, but there's only so much you can say. Okay, we get it. But then if I don't like the stories come, and it's also it's like I haven't even. I haven't even got to court yet, <laughs> so when it gets to that, I, and that's why I said I can't be in here. If this is going to get dealt with, I need to be in a safe place. So who put you in here? Who was it who put you in here? Okay, well, the drug house, the man that dealt the drugs, I went round to him. The woman from the council was there. She yeah. was all tarted up and <laughs> shit. So Sue Thomas, that was a social worker, 
right. that organises people against their will to be put in flats for their safety or whatever they want to justify. Mm. She helped to put me here. And she, I said, I don't want to sign it. I don't want it. And then they forced me to sign it. She was the same woman in the council that was at the place. And when the, the, I found as well that the people are all connected, they're friends with each other. Yeah. <laughs> and then I told the police that as well. And like, I don't know who I have to speak to. That's why, again, it's got out of hand. And like before, six months ago, I said, I need to speak to the police, who I'm dealing with, uh, the doctors, the mental health and everything. So the doctors would know about my physical damage and how I am. And that's pretty much how it is. And that's going to be till I die now because you didn't help me and you yeah. neglected it, and you mistreated me as well. They even fucking did an operation on my throat when I was... I had a broken neck at two. Yeah. And then they felt that it was right to operate on my throat. And I wonder why I can't eat. So like, that is like my biology and people are telling me I'm abusing myself. Right. You see, so I need to let these things see. It's like, I like, uh, I discovered cooking and it get me down because it doesn't do anything. Okay. And I'm like, what well, the fuck, man? Like, that's going to get to someone. And I realised that, like, what the fuck hell is the point in living? So I've gone past suicide. I've gone, I still have meaning in life. I, so much I want to do. But I've said, I'm not doing anything unless we're dealing with it. Right. Because if I die and my life doesn't mean anything, then all these other people don't mean anything. So what my experience is, it's uncovered the human trafficking, pimping, organised crime shit that's been happening within the system and the community. And yeah. uh, we got the we got Dorset. I got I see the whole world yeah. as well. Uh, they, that's why they hushed up the paedophilia stuff recently, and right. and now they're on COVID and no one's talking about it. But that's cool because they were scapegoating that anyway on a globalist thing they, they, they're they all into it you know and like like, like Tom Chris, Hanks like he was one now man everyone's into it Christopher do you mind if we pop in for a second you can, with you is you that alright I'm not I'll stay here but you can come yeah, no, that's is right. that alright you can come me. past and do what you want oh. by the way I've just never done this before but I that's watch right. police auditors and people they do it for safety that's alright you carry I'm on scared, no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy at the moment for you to be filming I'm just scared like okay. it's all okay. do you, are you happier with the lights dark are you is that well this is again like Check this, like, if they're going to kill me at night again, I think, well, should I have the lights off or on? I'm, like, thinking, like, that's what's going through my mind. Like, should I have the lights on? Because they, be, they might know I'm awake. They might think I'm asleep. Like, and the neighbours, they're all communicating with each other. Oh, she's okay. in the mental health team. She's like, oh, we uh, can't get involved. <laughs> oh, because you think they're all part of a clique, are they? No, well, they all communicate with each other. Have, <laughs> that's why you, now what they've done, they've committed the perjury shit. You're, yeah. <laughs> You're beyond the thought of suicide. Have you done anything to harm yourself no, today? No, no, the suicide don't matter. I'm not with that. I want life. But it's like, I'm with my body. Do you know what I mean? So it's not suicide if I'm decaying. You see, I have to live with that. And they won't let me have my own self. They want to say it's all in my head. Well, if it's all in my head, then that's what you're going to get. Because <laughs> right. it's bullshit. Right, so. it's Christopher, just because you don't own the flat here, okay? Because there's damage to inside the flat. Can you please get off right. me? You're pressing, you're pressing okay. against me that's more right. and more. That's all right. No, it's and not all time, right. And people keep time, telling me okay, that it's I'm all right. I'm arresting you on suspicion of criminal damage, okay? So you do not have to I say... I can't move. No, I can't move. You're gonna, no, you're getting me worked up and I'm having an autistic fit. No, I'm going... I need to ring my mother. 